This is option four and as you can see it's a very different option for a bike packing trip. This is a Kona Ute a cargo bike that I picked up a few years ago now meaning to restore it. It's had a bit of a hard life but actually it works quite well mechanically. Obviously if I was to take this on the, the northern part of the European divide I wouldn't have any problems carrying stuff. The problem, the biggest problem, would be uh, restricting myself so it doesn't get too heavy. I've got the front rack, easy access stuff, some quick access bags, I can carry a big water bottle here, but then I've got these two absolutely huge panniers that I could fill with stuff. And as I say, the problem would be restricting myself so I don't carry too much weight. As it's a cargo bike, it's quite low geared to start with, which is great. It's a two by 10, but it's a very, very low geared. Depending on the terrain, not quite sure how this would fare. It also depends on how much I load it up, obviously. It has a front dynamo hub, which I found to be very, very uh, useful during my trip on the southern part of the European Divide last year, as it meant that I could keep my phone charged all the time, and that worked quite well. If I was to use this, it would need a bit of TLC, some tender loving care to get it in condition. I wouldn't worry too much about it, the cosmetics. I'd let that sort of slide. It is a bit bruised as it is but uh, it'll probably get knocked about a fair bit if I was to take it on the trip anyway. But I need to go through the mechanicals, the disc brakes, check out the hubs and the wheels, and make sure the gears work as they should. It's a bit of an out there option, but I am sort of attracted to doing things a little bit differently, so it could possibly be a good idea. I did ride a bullet cargo bike around Finland, oh, what, in 2017, and that worked out quite well but that was on main roads and not too much gravel stuff. The bike packing trail will be a lot rougher than that. And I'd never take a bullet on that with the small front wheel. That wasn't very good at all on rough gravel stuff. I think this could handle it quite well. Uh, I've read reviews where people have used these and the Surly Big Dummy, which is basically the same sort of setup on trails before. And they seem to work. I'm naturally on the roughest single track. It's going to be a bit of a handful pushing it's going to be a bit of a handful the weight's going to be a bit much but it is possible to do and I am sort of attracted to the idea of doing it just because it is different the bags are big handy supposedly waterproof unfortunately they don't close that well so it depends on how I pack them I suppose I need to pack stuff in them in dry bags I think it is definitely an option remove the mud guards maybe some slightly bigger wheels. It'd be a nice ride going up to the start anyway, with plenty of comfort and everything I need. It will be a handful on the trails though. I would like to do it because it is different and I like doing things that are a bit different, but we'll see. Those are my four main options for going on the trail now. They are the, the Kona Libra AL, the Surly Ice Cream Fat Bike, the Cube full suspension mountain bike, and this Kona Ute cargo bike. I'm actually going to put up a poll and I'll let you vote on which bike I'll take on the trail. I'm not necessarily going to abide by the result, but I am really interested in finding out what you think I should do. So make sure you check out the poll and vote for what you think I should ride on the European Divide bike packing trail, the northern section, this summer.